super excited that you're here to learn how to crochet. We're going to make Puck the Penguin. You'll learn all the steps you need to know to crochet these little fellows. Today is lesson one, and in lesson one we're going to learn how to make a magic loop. We're going to make our first single crochets, and we're going to learn how to increase. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. This is my very first YouTube video, so if you have any suggestions or comments for me, just let me know. Let's get started, shall we? I'm going to crochet Puck with this happy blue color. Let's start with a magic loop. Take the tail of the yarn in your right hand and wrap it around your left index finger three times. One, two, three. Take your middle finger and hold the tail of the thread. This is your working yarn connected to the bowl. Now take your hook and go underneath the two loops oops, that are on your finger. Pick up your yarn and pull it underneath the two loops. Pick up the yarn again and pull it through this loop that was on your hook. This is not our first single crochet yet, this is just a stitch to get started. Okay, so let's make our first single crochet. With my left thumb, I keep a little bit of pressure on the yarn, so you can control the tension. See, when you pull on your hook, the loop will get a little bit bigger, but when you keep pressure on your yarn like so, you can control that. We go underneath both loops, Pick up the yarn, pull it through, and now we will have two loops on our hook. We pick up, pick up the yarn again, and pull it through both loops. One, two. That's it. That is a single crochet. Let's make another one. Go underneath the two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn again, and pull it through both loops. And that's the second single crochet. We are going to make six single crochets in this magic loop. Let's rotate a little bit. Okay, underneath again, Pick up the yarn, pick up the yarn again, and pull through both loops. That's number three. Go underneath the two loops, pick up the yarn, pull through, pick up the yarn again, and pull through both loops. Okay, let me show you how many stitches we have now. This is one, two, three, four single crochets. Two more to go. Okay. Go underneath, pick up the yarn, pick up the yarn again, and pull through both loops. One more. Go underneath, pick up the yarn, pull through, Pick up the yarn and pull oops, pull through both loops. That's six single crochets. Now you can enlarge this loop so you won't lose your stitches and take the magic loop from your finger. There you go. Okay, what we have here is a tail. This loops around here and we have a working yarn. Don't pull your working yarn because then you will lose stitches. When you pull on the tail you can see one of the two loops. We want to get rid of these loops by the way. We want to make this small 
so that will be our center where we start from. When you pull on the tail, one of the two loops will get smaller. Okay, don't pull it all the way. Pick up the loop that is getting smaller and pull on it. When you pull on one side, you can see the tail disappearing. There goes the tail. That's not the side we want to pull on. When you pull on the other side of the loop, the second loop will disappear. Ooh, magic! That's the side you want to pull on. So when the second loop disappeared, we only have one loop left, one tail, and the working yarn. Now you can pull the tail to remove the first loop. There it goes. And it disappeared. This is the start of your crochet work and it is a magic loop with six single crochets in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put your hook back in the first loop, pull on your working yarn, so I like to keep tension on my working yarn by um, rolling it around my pink. So I, with my pink I kind of keep pressure on the yarn. And what we do now is we go inside our first single crochet. It might be difficult sometimes to know which one it is, but in this case it are it's uh, these two loops. Those two loops make one single crochet. We go underneath them. Oh, there we go. I went through both loops of this single crochet. Just leave your tail hanging there. That's fine. And what we are going to do now is we're going to make an increase. At this moment we have six single crochets in the ring and we want to make 12. So we pick up our yarn. We pull it through. We have two loops on our hook. We pick up the yarn again and pull it through both loops. That's our first single crochet of the second round. Since we want to increase at this time, we want to make two single crochets in this first single crochet. So you can follow the stitch you just made and go inside that exact same single crochet where you started and make another single crochet in there. So pick up the yarn, pick up the yarn again and go through both loops. Okay, let me show you now. I've made two single crochets, this one and this one, and they are both made in the same single crochet of the first round. So that means now I have made one increase so I should have seven single crochets in my work. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! We will repeat this until we have 12 single crochets in our second round. So in every single crochet of the first round, we will make two single crochets. Here we go. This is the second single crochet of the first round. So there we make our first single crochet and our second single crochet. So in our second round we have now four single crochets. I just count with the second round so that's one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten. When you are making the eyes of the penguin, this is the moment you can stop crocheting. When you work in the white yarn, you make only six single crochet and then you make five increases, so you have ten single crochets in the second round. So then you stop at this moment. But for the body we continue, 
So we made 10 single crochets in our second round. This will be number 11. And in the same stitch we make number 12. Let's count again and see if I did it right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and number 12. In the third round we're going to make one single crochet and then do an increase. So we make one single crochet. This is our first stitch. We make one single crochet. And then we do an increase. So now we don't go back into the same single crochet, but we go to the second single crochet of the second round. This one. Whoops, that's only the front loop. Both loops. And in this stitch we will make an increase. So this will be single crochet number 2 and number 3 of the third round. And that one is an increase. And that we repeat the whole way around. So we do one single crochet and then we make an increase. So in this stitch we make an increase by making one single crochet and another single crochet in the same stitch. This gives us six stitches in the third round. So you can count oops. 7, 8, and increase, 9, 10, 11, and increase, 12, 13, 14, and increase, 15, 15, 16, 17, and increase 18. That finishes round 3 and gives us 18 stitches in the third round. To keep track of my uh, stitches, to know where I started and I finished the rounds. I use a tail of my uh, yarn and I just pull it up in the corner of where I'm starting. So this is the first single crochet of the third round and I'm going to make my fourth round which will be a single crochet, single crochet, increase single crochet, single crochet, increase. So when I put this tail here I can see where I made my first stitch of this round so I know when to stop. That also helps you with not having to count too much. So we make a single crochet, single crochet, increase. And this we will, repeat, we will repeat until you reach the tail of your yarn. So now actually I'm only counting one, two, increase. So I just made the increase. So I will count one, two, increase. And again, one, two, increase, one, two, increase. Okay, now only four stitches left to do. That's one. Two increase three 
So I braid my tail. The tail is in this stitch, so I know this will be the first one of the next round. So I finished right on time and I didn't have to count all the way. So you can pull the yarn back and place it inside the new round if you want to. Just to help you to know where you are. So I'm ready for row number five. What if in the meantime you lose track of your um, your rows, your rounds? Then you can easily count them. This is where you started with the six single crochet and you spiraled around with 12. So this means this was round one and this is round two. That's round three and that's round four. So you know we did one, two, three, four, and you know you have to start with number five. Round number five goes like this. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. So you can count to five every time. One, two, wait a second, three, four, and on five you make your increase. So five goes in the same single crochet as number four. That's number five. One, two, three, four, and five goes in the same as number four. That's row number five. In round number six we will do something special. We will make two stitches in the back loops only uh, because that marks where the eyes will go. I will show you when we get there. First we will make four single crochets and an increase. One, two, three, Four and increase in the next one. One and two. Then make again four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and an increase. Now we make one single crochet. And then we make a stitch in the back loop only. Each stitch we crochet in has two loops. Normally we go through both loops, like so. But now we only want to go in the back loop. This is what we call the front loop, and that one is what we call the back loop. So we go in here. So we only have See, I skipped the front loop and we only have the back loop. And there we make a single crochet. Just yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. Just like we did before. And now you can see I skipped the front stitch. And this is where the eye will go later on. So you know exactly where to put it. Okay, now let's make two single crochet. 
just in all the loops and an increase one single crochet and now we do a stitch in the back loop again so pick the back loop that one and make a single crochet and now we finish the round by making two single crochet one increase four single crochet one two three four one increase four single crochet and one increase that's round six and now let me show you what we just did we created a tiny loop here and a tiny loop here this one and this one so that was round number six round number six has 36 single crochets in there and I'll take my tail back and put it in the next round from here we will make six rounds with 36 single crochets so we don't have to increase anymore you just go into every single crochet and make one single crochet so you can count from 1 to 36 and when you get to 36 you should be at the beginning of the round that's all there is to it When I don't have to increase anymore, so all the rows are the same, I will just leave my tail here, so I can count from here how many rows I've done already. And we will be doing, this is row number 7, we will do number, row number 8 will be exactly the same, and row number 9 will have a few uh, stitches in the back loops again, to mark where we will attach the wings. So that was number 7 and we will make 36 stitches as row number uh, 8. That is the final stitch of row number 8 and now I can just count whoops I can just count how many rows I did by seeing where my tail was my tail was in here so I know that this was around the first round after the tail and this is the second round after the tail so this was round number 7 and this was round number 8 uh, we will first make 7 single crochets for round nine let's go one two three four five six and seven and then we make stitches eight nine and ten in the back loops so this will be stitch eight stitch nine A stitch 10 and you can see here that we skipped these front loops then we crochet until stitch number 24 so this is 11 12 13 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 will be in the back loops again. So 24 goes in a back loop, 25 goes in a back loop, and 26 goes in a back loop. And then we need 10 single crochets to complete this round of 36 single crochets. So 10 normal single crochets. That's number 10, so number 36, and you can see my tail was here, and I ended up nicely above the other last stitches of the round. That completes round number 9, and then now you can make round number uh, 10, 11 and 12 with just 36 stitches. Good luck! For the eyes we will just follow the beginning of the body. So we make 6 single crochet in a magic loop and then we increase 5 times. 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, and nine, and ten. So I increase five times, so I crocheted ten single crochet, so that will leave us with eleven single crochets when I did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, that's correct. And when you've done this, you will end up with a flat side. That's the side where the eye will be um, sewn to the body, uh, to the belly. So uh, we will finish this off. Uh, you can cut your yarn. And what we do now is we go into the next single crochet pick up the yarn and then immediately pull through uh, that loop so we don't yarn over like we do with a single crochet. And we pull it so that it will make a, a knot and then we are done. I left about this length of the tail and that's it. This is the eye and you can make uh, two of them. And that's it for this lesson. We started with the magic loop. We did a lot of increasing with single crochets. And when we stopped increasing, we made one, two, three, four, five, six rows. There's where we will continue next lesson. And we also made two eyes. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.